morning viewers, people of God, we thank God for another grace to see the light of this day. And we welcome you to today's this, we welcome you to today's devotional of the Church of Nigeria Daily Fountain. You know, every day we we'll come here and we we'll see it, we we'll talk about it, we we'll pray in it, and surely I can feel it in my spirit that the Lord has blessed us so much, so much. You know, January coming so far today, today is really a thing of grace that we have received from the Lord. And we thank God for that grace. And in that grace is why we are seeing the light of this day again. The 29th day of the month of November. Brethren, the year has gone really, really so well for us. Whatever it is that we've faced so far, whatever it is that have come our way, whatever challenge or whatever challenges that we've seen, one thing I need you to know is this, that the Lord knows about it. And surely, if he, if he can bring you up to this point, Definitely is going to see you through. And surely we'll see you through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you please bow down your heads and let us pray? Thank you, Father, for the light of this day. Thank you for giving us another grace. As we look into your word, speak to us, Father, in a language you are going to understand. All to the glory of your name. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today is the 29th day of the month of February. And uh, just a day more. And November will be out and we're into the last month of the year. And the topic today is, my hope is built on nothing else. My hope is built on nothing else. Just like that song says, my hope is built on nothing else than Jesus, God, and righteousness. That is just a very word we're going to look at today. So please spare us your time. Thank God for the devotional. You can have it on your WhatsApp. You can have it on your emails. You can have it in whatever format that you have it. Let's open it together. Even your Bible too. Add copy, soft copy. Let's see together from the book of Philippians chapter 3 from verse 1 to 6. Philippians chapter 3 from verse 1 to 6. Don't forget our topic. My hope is built on nothing else. Let's read together. I'll be reading from Leadership, a Bible of John Maxwell, New King James Version. And it reads, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. For me to write the same things to you is not tedious, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the mutilation, for we are the circumcision who worship God in the Spirit. Rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Though I also might have confidence in the flesh, if anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh, I more so circumcise the eighth day of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, concerning the law, a Pharisee, concerning sin, persecuting the church, concerning the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. This is the word of the law. That's the word, the word of our brother Paul the people of Philippians talking to them who he was and why the reason behind his zeal the zeal he had and some trying to answer a few complaints that arose in the church at that point in time and that is why this topic is right coming up our way today and I can tell you categorically the topic we are examining today is apt for us just before we go out let's see it together now let's see the devotional what does he have to tell us he said a man began Sunday widely beyond his means in anticipation of the promise of a big contract for a political leader. Unfortunately, the political leader died before the contract could be awarded and his, wo and his world almost crumbled. The scripture says that a man is caused who puts his trust in a man, making his heart to depart from God. But that man is blessed whose hope is the Lord. And that is Jeremiah 17, verse 5 to verse 9. We experience shame and failure when we trust in anything other than the rock of salvation. Psalm 20 says, verse 7, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 3, verse 1 to 6, admonished us not to have confidence in the flesh, he had every reason, more than anyone else, to trust in the flesh 
and worldly achievements. As Christians, our bones should not be in the flesh, nor in our ability, nor in our degrees, wealth, or strength. It must be in Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith. He has never failed. He will never fail. And he can, he will, he can never fail. Praise the Lord. The topic today is very straight to the point, you know. When you have hopes in man, I'm not sure there is any point in time where man has not disappointed. In fact, if this my submission will be accepted, I will say that the second name for man is disappointment. Do you know why? Man is the only person that will promise you and fail. Man is the only person that will make your hope to rise and at the, la at the end of it all just dash it. Man is the only woman that can give you a hope and all of a sudden we just come up from somewhere and tell you he's not going to do it again. Man is the only man that can say, I promise you this, I'm going to do this. Oh, I even swear it. Oh, this, oh, that. And eventually, they will disappoint you. I know we all have stories about disappointment up and down. In fact, stories of disappointment is everywhere. Everywhere. And there's a ratio of 10 men, 10 men. I can tell you, you have stories of disappointment among eight of them. Or even all of them possibly because at a point in time in our lives we are faced one disappointment or the other no you don't need to worry much for example me it takes the grace of god for me to know that man cannot be dependent upon because he will always fail you and that is what we're talking about today paul is trying to give us his own example say look here i'm a pharisee i'm a lawyer I know this, I know that, I belong to this, I was circumcised on the eighth day. I was, he's trying to make them, the people, the Christian folk understand what he was talking about. Now look here, you don't need any reason, there's no reason for you to trust in man. The only person you can trust in is God. The Lord Jesus Christ who came to give us the surest of all assurance. He came to give us the most beautiful thing you can ever imagine. He's the author. And the finisher of our faith he didn't just author it he didn't just finish it but between the authorship and the time when he finished it there are several promises laid in between them it's a long line and for you to be part of that long line of promises that we enjoy you just have to come into him it is when you come into him it will now become the author of your life give you those promises and you can enjoy them even to the point at which you're going to finish them you know, Christian Christian race is not of this world alone. After a year, we have a place that he has prepared for us only for those that believe in him. And also in the word of Paul, he said, Look here, brother, brethren, you don't have any reason to trust in any man. You don't have any reason to believe in man. You don't have any reason to look up onto any man. He said, Look here, you need to just look up to the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And that's why that song came out. My hope is built on nothing else my hope on nothing else our hope on nobody else in the words of jeremiah oh jeremiah chapter 17 gave that emphasis he said look i said cause be the man that put his trust in any man what again apart from god saying it's a cause in fact naturally by default automatically you are caused if you put your trust in man because he will fail you they will disappoint you. Events happen every day, brethren, where we face disappointment. Look at our nation, for example. If I look at the story of a man here who was living big in his imagination because he submitted a contract towards a political person, and eventually, before anything will happen, pew, his hope was dashed. May your hope not be dashed this morning. The Bible says, it said, the expectations of the righteous shall never be cut short. Who are the righteous? those that belong to the lord jesus christ we that are in the lord jesus christ we that understands him we that believe in his word we that stands by his word we the doer of his words we that just speaks to on a daily basis we that he gives his knowledge we that he gives his wisdom we that he gives his understanding we that he gives his holy spirit who comfort us and console us and speak his things unto our life those are the persons that they are all are built on nothing else. Maybe you are in an attempt for you to go out this morning. You already built your hope on somebody that you want to go see. You know, that person said, Come and see me 10 a.m. today. 
or come and see me at this particular time or come and see me at that particular time maybe that is your hope maybe you need to rethink maybe you need to pray for god's favor maybe you need to pray for his grace maybe you know you need to pray for his assurance maybe you need to recall him into you maybe you have let him you know i was reading up something a few days ago and he said you need to let god be at the driving seat you need to go give god a chance to drive you you know many of us will drive ourselves we even try to drive God. We even think that we can make God to believe you have it covered. I say, yes, I've got this. You have got, brethren, you haven't got nothing. I'm telling you categorically, you haven't got anything. Let God drive you. Let him drive your life. Let him rule your life. Give him the control. It is when you give him the control, you're saying, my hope is built on nothing else. But when you feel, yes, I can still manage it myself, you run Elta Skelter, and at the end of it all, after a few days, you have nothing to show for it. Brethren, it is time for you to put your old hope, to put your trust and hope in God. Maybe you're sick, you're trusted doctors, yes, doctor can only try. But in between that situation, you need to have that understanding that you need to trust God. I visited the medical doctor yesterday. I took my doctor to the hospital. You know? But just, he did something that so impressed me a lot. After I took the thing, took the BP, did that, did all the thing, wrote what he needs to write and all that. Just before we left his office, he lays his hands on my daughter and they prayed. The word he said is actually what really got, me, got my attention. He said, Lord, we have tried our own, but you are the perfect healer. Healer. Heal this child in Jesus' name. And I would say, this is the people we're looking for. Even though he, was, he is a medical doctor, but yes, he believed that he's a great healer. Maybe your own is sickness, and yet you believe doctors are doing much. Yes, they are trying their own ability. I'm not in contention with that. But your absolute hope, your absolute trust must be in the Lord. Your song should say, my hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and righteousness. They say, I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but only lean on Jesus' name. You're going out this morning, maybe to your own work. Maybe your, your, your finances is really going down. Or maybe you're even broke. Maybe your trust is you're going to go meet somebody who is going to raise you, who is going to help you. Listen to me. You need to put your own trust in God. Do you know why? Let me quickly give you this illustration. You know, it's a chain. It's a, it's a line. For you to start your line at the base is not possible. Every line starts from the top down. So whatever favor you're actually seeking, you have to seek that line from the top and draw it down. So that person you go, you're going to go seek, you want to go seek his help, or trouble, you put your trust in him, or you're hoping he will do something for you. All you need to do is, before you leave your house this morning, pray and say, Father, I am going to see this person. You will make him to favor me. You pray his name in the will of God and say, Lord, I'm going to see this person. Come, the Bible says, the ark of the king is in the hand of the Lord. He said, every stony heart will turn onto flesh. By the time you commit him ah, onto the hand of the Lord before you, because you want to go see him or before you go to him, God already take control for you. He already take control for your sake. What you're doing is you're drawing the line from the top to the bottom. Not from the top. You will never see anybody draw a line from the top down up like this. It is never done. You draw a line from the top to the bottom. That is God down. Draw your line this morning as you go out. And let your son be. My hope is built on nothing else. Then you can categorically say in the word of Paul. Say look at me. I am this. I am that. Only in the Lord Jesus Christ. So brethren. As you go out this morning. I pray for you. May the Lord fulfill your expectation. May the Lord grant your desire. May the Lord send favor upon you. May his grace be upon you. May his blessing be upon you. May he perfect all that concerns you. May his grace follow you in an abundant way. People will see you today and they will favor you. They will see you today, they will listen to you. They will see you today, they will grant you that which the Lord has placed upon their hands will grant unto you. Today, every spirit of lack before you will take them away. Today, whatever that is standing before you, you will break their barrier in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the prayer says, Dear Lord, even in the center of the sea, amidst its waves and turbulence, may your word be my anchor and my hope. And so as you go out today, 
the word of the Lord shall be your anchor and your hope. The Lord does not disappoint. He will not disappoint you today. The Lord does not fail. He will not fail you today. The Lord has never failed. He will never fail you. In the remaining days for this year to end, the Lord will never fail you. In the name of Jesus. His word shall be your anchor. His word shall be your hope. So shall it be for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we thank you so much once again for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow. Same time. Same station. For this same word. Daily Fountain. You can be sponsored. You can give the Lord is putting it uh, on your spirit. You can sponsor any of this program. You can contact any of the number showing on your screen. Be rest assured that whatever you give to the Lord, it's not thrown away. It's a seed that you sow. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash ACNNTV. And you can also check us on our website, www.acnntv.com. You can check us also on Facebook. All you need to do is like the page, join it, and daily you are blessed. Thank you for your time. God bless you and have a wonderful day.